sometimes it'll really just be me and God in the trenches. Like everybody can't be in every part of your journey. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Jasma and today I am going over a brief recap of 2021. I know it's probably been a tough year for you. I know it's been for me for a lot of people. It hasn't been quite how we imagined. There have been a lot of life lessons that I've learned in 2021 that I plan to take into 2022 with me because I do not want to repeat the same mistakes, the same lessons over and over, okay? I'm trying to go into elevation in 2022. So without further ado, first and foremost, time is of the essence, okay? Like we literally only have one life and like we have to make the most of it. I wanna get to heaven and God be like, well done, Jasmine, like well done, Jay. I don't want to get up there and he like welcome home <laughs> like that's it like you know they go your they go your crib in heaven no like i want to be like well done like i want to really make him proud i want to execute on what my purpose is here on earth if you want something pursue it if god told you to do it do it like period regardless of what anybody else is saying God told you to do it, do it. Move on it, stop waiting. Mm -hmm. Trust your gut. I think all too often, myself included, we tend to ask opinions from other people, whether that's family, friends, spouses, whoever, on things that God gave us. Like that's our assignment from him. How are they gonna know about our vision if God gave it to us and not them? I'm not saying not to ask for input, but I think a lot of times we rely on what others say for validation versus what our desires and what's been put into our spirit to follow behind. I've learned over the year, do not look for other people's opinion, do not look for other people's validation, look for discernment instead, and that'll lead me a lot further than anyone else's opinion ever could. Be your biggest cheerleader. Like, clap for yourself. I think sometimes we get so wrapped up in getting external validation that we don't take the time to be like, hey, you know what I did? This is something I've been wanting to do since X. I accomplished it. Clap for yourself. You deserve it. And I realized this year that sometimes it'll really just be me and God in the trenches. Like, everybody can't be in every part of your journey with you. Like, that wouldn't even make sense. Sometimes it's just going to be you and God, and that's okay. So you have to be your biggest cheerleader. You have to root yourself on in those moments. Offer yourself grace because we deserve it. We are human. We make mistakes. We're not perfect. But what I do not tolerate and I don't allow myself to do anymore is to make excuses. If I hear myself rambling off with some excuse, I'm like, nah, Jay, keep it real with yourself. This is why this didn't get accomplished. This is why you're here. This is what happened. This also allows me to not carry so much baggage with me because I'm letting it go. Like, you know what? You fell short, this is why. What do I learn from this? Let's move on. Offer yourself grace. You deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. Listen, okay? <laughs> Listen. If there's one thing I've learned in 2021, it's to stay focused. The enemy is literally constantly trying to come to steal, kill, and destroy. He knows greater is coming for you. He knows God has bigger plans for you. And he is trying to stop. He is literally trying to destroy that. He doesn't want you to to accomplish it and a wise friend of mine recently told me like jay keep your blinders on like when you get to looking left and right at comparison and you fall for these other traps and you're looking down looking around everything else other than what you're supposed to be focused on that's when you get to, you begin to fall behind that's when you start messing up that's when things don't always align up keep your blinders on stay focused as we go into 2022 like we have in 2022 vision not sure what that means but we're having better vision than ever before. We have to stay focused. Throughout this year, the enemy, he knows my triggers. He will go for your soft spot. He'll go for the one thing that he knows will get you riled up. The one thing he knows is gonna mess up your whole entire day. That's gonna throw you completely off of where you were supposed to be. That's why we have to stay focused. We gotta stay focused on the promises over our life. This is a good one, y'all. This is a good one. Let me know in the comments, but I think this is a really good one. To trust and enjoy the process, to enjoy the journey. We get so caught up on the destination. How many times have you reached a goal and been like, yay, like, but that's all. Like you didn't get the full gratitude or the full excitement that you thought you were gonna get from accomplishing that goal. When in actuality, you gained so much through the entire journey, you became a whole different version of yourself. You, were, you built confidence, you, your character grew, you matured. A lot of times the reward is really in the journey and in the process and not in the actual destination. I saw this on Instagram the other day and I was like, yes. Do not let the process punk you out of the promise. Like 
you can't stop now like there's so much more that's gonna come for us like 2022 like watch out like everybody watch out for us like there is so much more coming and if you tripping now and you getting all riled up and upset right now like how are you gonna be able to accomplish everything that's to come enjoy the process enjoy the journey enjoy the tribulations and the trials that come with it because i promise you it's making you better for where you're gonna end up at okay it's gonna make you better it's gonna make you fit for the position of where you headed to last but certainly not least stop procrastinating i know it's hard y'all it is hard a rule that i've come accustomed to recently is if it's something I can knock out within two minutes, I go ahead and get it done. Whether that's loading up the dishwasher, unloading the dishwasher, throwing the clothes in the laundry, into the uh, washing machine. If it's something I can do in two minutes, I go ahead and knock it out. If it's something bigger, if it's working out, if it's going to the grocery store, whatever it is, just get it done. Like, check off those boxes. Make a list, check it off every day, but stop procrastinating. The more you procrastinate, the longer you're withholding everything that's to come, the longer it's going to take to get where you're headed. Stop procrastinating, get it done. These are pretty much the things that I've learned over 2021. If you've learned some lessons that I didn't list today, please share them down below. Or if you did learn some of these lessons, like let's talk about it in the comments. I am very, very, very excited for 2022. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me. Like great things are lined up but we have to learn from our mistakes we have to learn from our past we have to learn from 2021 so we don't bring that same energy into 2022 because there's no way we're going to get elevated if we continue to go around in the same circle and fight the same battles we got to learn we got to grow we got to take it into 2022 i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you next time